Although the structure of DNA was discovered more than 50 years ago, scientists have been working constantly to learn more and more about the function of individual genes. Since the historic mapping of the entire human genome was announced in 2003, progress has accelerated. A series of breakthroughs have occurred over the last 10 years in the understanding of genetics and how to best use that information. DNA is the instruction manual for our bodies. The graphical representation of DNA is two spirals with ladder steps in between, sort of like a circular staircase. Think of sections of this DNA as spelling out individual words in that instruction manual. These sections are called genes, and the little ladder steps within the section are pairs of things called nucleotides, the smallest known component in DNA. In fact, a nucleotide is only one millionth of a millimeter across. These ladder steps, or pairs of nucleotides, represent the four molecules that make up the letters in the alphabet of genetics. The order of these nucleotides on one gene spell out the meaning or function of that gene. Here's where the breakthrough comes in. Scientists have determined that on some genes, a pair of nucleotides is not the correct letter for that regular configuration of that gene. If you think of a gene as a word that is spelled out in English, such as Mississippi, that might be changed to M-I-S-I-I-S-S-I-P-P-I if one of the letters was wrong. In genetics, this error is called single nucleotide polymorphisms, or SNP for short. While most people won't ever learn a lot about genetics and DNA, we will hear more and more about SNPs because we are beginning to realize how these variations affect the function of genes and therefore are instruction manuals that govern the functions of our bodies.